Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean Special Report. Today's date, November 26, 2022. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. So, some of my sources today are God in the Bible, Patriot Subscriber, Israeli News Live, uh, James Neal Cooper, uh, Dr. William Mount, uh, Scott McKay's interview of SG recently, Benjamin Fulford, Jim Woolley on the French, Daily Mail, uh, Reuters Plus. Okay, nuke in play. FTX equals deep state uh, equals digital money. Yeah, the uh, deep state wants to close, uh, take all the money in our bank accounts and make it all digital soon. Uh, railroad strike. An E coming in March of 2023. And T will equal 19. So let's get to it. All right, we've had uh, some things going on that are pretty mind-boggling, actually. Let's begin with nuke and play. All right, nuke and play. Now, Dr. William Mount brought this information out, and I've had several videos bringing details out that the FBI... And there's a shadow FBI and a shadow CIA and a shadow U.S. government and a shadow U.S. military and a shadow NATO. They're all deep state. It doesn't mean that everyone who works in those organizations are evil. But a certain percentage are. Now, in the military, we understand 30% are deep state. That means 70% are with the white hat. So, okay. In the summer, uh, the FBI sent 24 baseball size nukes, and they went to uh, on a plane to Warsaw. A second plane carried the uh, a government official from the U.S. Uh, government, a woman. I think her name was Brink. And the first plane landed, it had the nukes on it, and then she landed. She was to do the paperwork. And then there, a truck arrived, well, 18 trucks arrived from Kiev, and they had paperwork, and she signed off on the paperwork for the Zelensky government then to receive the 24 nukes. And they went, we understand, in 24 different directions. So I guess they must have had more than 18 trucks because Dr. William Mount said each nuke went to a different location, but they were all controlled by Zelensky and the shadow NATO and the 10,000 U.S. advisors that were already in uh, Kiev. So they went to uh, Ukraine. Now, 22 of the... Russian government was able to buy at $2 million each. One was destroyed, and one is still in play, according to Dr. William Mount. And the plans by the Shadow NATO, Shadow U.S., Shadow Ukraine is to uh, nuke the Zaporonista nuclear power plant. Now, I'll draw you a map. So here's Ukraine, and here is, we have Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson, Zaporonista, and here's Kiev. All right, we have the Zaporonista power plant right about here. It's on the Dnepro River. Now, uh, Dustin Taylor decades ago had learned about a prophet uh, from Bulgaria who decades ago predicted a nuclear explosion on the Dnepro River. So now we know what to pray against and about. So I did a uh, 
Now, the uh, Zaporonista nuclear power plant is uh, one of the largest nuclear power plants in the world, has six reactors, but they're all shut in. And I understand that on their cooling rods, you know, uh, they have them in offline for five years and then they remove them from the plant so it's we know that russia has it offline they do have the cooling water flowing through so but at any rate i use the nuke map that's by uh, alex wellerstein and you can just do a search for nuke map wellerstein it'll come up and you can put in the city and the kiloton and see what would be the result. So I put in uh, Zaporonista, Ukraine. I put in a 200 kiloton explosion to see what, where it would go and what would be the consequences for that. So it would be a an area like this that would go out about five miles in a five mile it will we go much further than five miles but in a five mile area you would have almost instant death of uh, half a million within minutes or even hours or days like that and then beyond the five miles uh going out uh all the way out to 156 miles, but it goes out further. So it would be millions, plus another uh, 500,000 would die within a few weeks. So we're talking about in Ukraine, uh, spreading out, we have Russia, we have Belarus, we have Poland, we have Romania plus other countries in this area. So, yeah, and then spreading out all over Europe and then eventually around the world. So we definitely don't want a nuclear explosion taking place at all. And I know that the White Hats and the Space Force have devices that can detect a nuclear um devices and i know when the ukraine war started i had a word from the lord about the dnepro river underneath it had tunnels watch out for traitors so it could be that this uh, baseball size nuke material is somehow cloaked and hidden uh, but as soon as it comes up to be used it could be neutralized within minutes so and then there's God. So, yeah, we got that going on. Now, on the fringe, this is a report about uh, what's going on in Arizona. There are uh, 15 counties in Arizona, and four out of 15 are not going to certify uh, the recent election. That would be the midterm. And we recall that saying, watch the water. And so this involves Cary Lake, lake water. So that's going on. And they're saying that uh, French is reporting uh, there are 30% of the machines that were involved in the election in Maricopa County that have problems. So, all right. So that's going on. And Cary Lake uh, has... Uh, also filed a lawsuit. So, all right, Benjamin Fulford, uh, Canadian journalist, lives uh, has lived for decades in Japan, worked for 20 years for Forbes. Okay, has a lot of contacts. Now he's talking about President Trump when he made his November 15 announcement. And I had another source for this. I reported earlier. President Trump did not say he was running in 2024. 
And we also had that report from uh, economist Jim Woolley, PhD economist from Costa Rica, that currently the U.S. inside the United States, the U.S. Marines and National Guard are making arrests. And the U.S. military special forces are fighting in underground bunkers along the U.S. Canadian border and along our West Coast uh, Chinese who are also augmented, have augmented cyborgs fighting with them. Yeah, so that's going on. That was in my previous video. Okay, so uh, what Benjamin Fulford is uh, bringing uh, out is that uh, these arrests are going on and there's a Supreme Court a move that'll be sometime in December. And this has to do with the rest of many people in Congress, plus uh, this JB, I'll elaborate on that a little bit, regime, which is the deep state. And we can uh, observe that we have, that Nancy Pelosi, uh, has resigned, uh, taking a bigger part, and we haven't been seeing her. And uh, Benjamin Fulford reports that her husband's at Gitmo. So it was my understanding he was the manager of Bohemian Grove in California. Now, Benjamin Fulford is bringing this out, that, and uh, he has contacts with these uh, Asian families uh, like the white dragon family and the golden dragon family now it was oh a month or so ago that jim willie brought it, was talking about the white dragon and the golden dragon families and it was a download from god that these uh, families are real and that they they are uh, do want to do good for humanity on earth and that they are in influential families all right on a global basis so that was from god so now so this information is coming out from benjamin fulford that yes at the g20 the jb actor clone was um uh, neutralized and was used as a sacrifice by the deep state you know they the entity that they worship requires sacrifices okay and that then the deep state was going to offer rule over the united states via kh but first they had to pay money to the deep state because the deep state's out of money and Benjamin Fulford says that the current um, deep state government is being ruled by the Council of Foreign Ministers, Rockefeller, Rothschild families. And we know recently a Rothschild, Evelyn Rothschild in France passed away. So that's going on. It's good to remember God is in charge. All right. Now, On the Fringe is reporting uh, some economic news. Alexa, who knew that Alexa was operated by Amazon? And Alexa, I guess, is going bye-bye pretty soon because Amazon has had lost $5 billion. And next year, in 2023, they're projecting to lose on Alexa $10 billion. So, yeah. That's going away. What, as far as uh, this Christmas, it might be a a, a good uh, Christmas present. You know, they, they ought to be on sale and last for a few months. All right. Benjamin Fulford is bringing this out about, um, yeah, FTX. And I had also Dr. William Mount. Uh, FTX, okay, 
So you may have heard recently that uh, the FTX CEO, uh, uh, Bankman Fried, is going to be giving a, a big speech at some fancy hotel in New York soon with Zelensky, who's going to come up to New York from his mansion in Miami and a lot of other, uh, you know, banking uh, people. So some some individuals were saying, what? That guy should be in jail for fraud for the FTX. Now, the FTX. That was the U.S. Congress sending to Ukraine $100 billion. And then it was laundered. It was cleaned through FTX crypto. So why is uh, Bankman Fried not in jail and instead is given a big speech to other bankers? It's because this was a deep state operation to take out all crypto everywhere and bring on the digital money system i'll get to that they want to do it this spring and take all of our money in our bank accounts and we say no no uh -uh. not gonna happen now yeah and so they spread over to crypto to Genesis company that had invested in FTX and has lost $700 million for its clients and now needs to make some kind of payment for $175 million and they're going to declare bankruptcy just like FTX did. Oh, and the money that Congress sent to FTX to be washed then came back to the U.S. for those mid the midterm E because it takes a lot of money to pay off all the people involved in that. All right, and then November 8 was the midterm. November 10, the CEO resigned and the FTX declared bankruptcy. It was a deep state plot. All right. Now, Dr. William Mount is bringing this out that and Dr. Mount is previous military and previous ambassador to Ukraine and a Christian knows a lot. Here's from God. Okay. So now the Federal Reserve, uh, we heard and I reported in my previous video that they were going to do a test in New York using simulated data in December. But now we find out they don't have any money and they're rolling out this uh, digital money system and what they're really testing is not a simulated data. They're really testing the computer system, but it keeps crashing. That's all they're waiting for. And then they want to take all the money in our bank accounts and say, you have digital money now. Oh, yeah, and it's correlated with your social score. Also, we, the deep state, will control your money. I don't think this is going to work. Now, so, yeah, and they, yeah, cash recall. They will recall cash, and this is to be done, according to Dr. William Mount, mid-2023. The only thing Deep State is waiting, uh, they're testing the computer system. As soon as it stops crashing, they'll be rolling along. So now we know what to pray for, don't we? All those computer systems to crash. Okay, the railroad strike. We have this, Dr. William Mount. I have other sources too. Yeah. It's going to begin December 9. And seven days before that is when they have to shut down hazmat shipments, which would include diesel. So we see this diesel and the railroad strike for the shipping and the trucking to be shut down. And we have uh, uh, like I think nine different groups in the uh, rail 
uh, road industry. And half of them, uh, most of them, a few years ago, the deep state government fired like one third of the railroad workers. So the current workers haven't had one day off in five years. So yeah, they want to strike. Now, the Dr. Mount is bringing this out, something in Waco, Texas. Waco controls all the railroad bridges. So if you want to uh, stop a train, it takes miles to stop a train. And then you have to, like a, a railroad bridge, and you have a ship coming in on water, and you have to lift the bridge. This could take hours to coordinate. All railroad bridges in the United States are controlled out of Waco, Texas. So that makes Waco, Texas a command and control location. Now, we have this from other sources that the, it's called the Samson option, which means to use nukes. And there were 25 locations inside the U.S. This, uh, that the deep state was threatening to blow up. That's why uh, since uh, 2020, you know, JB has been in and the White Hats have been working behind the scenes. Now, the snake eaters... This is the group inside the U.S. military that takes out nukes, have located all these nukes in the United States and taking them out. Now, this is coming out from multiple sources. So in March of 2023, after Congress, uh, no, Supreme Court makes the arrest for Congress, plus the JB regime, all of which is illegal. And by the way, none of the executive orders signed by the JB entity were legal. So that all goes away. March of 2023, a new election for President Trump to be the 19th president of the U.S. Republic and his vice president to be uh, JFK Jr. So it's shaping up to be a wonderful, fabulous spring. Now, Judy Byington is bringing this out that in mid-December, this is 2022, to late December, this correlates, too, with this deep state move to bring on this digital money and steal our money. Nope, not going to work. So in this area, the White Hats then are going to bring on the quantum financial system is already in place. Nasara Jasara, and it is to go online in the U.S. during this time period. So, yeah, Merry Christmas. It's looking like a wonderful time to be alive. And I think it is good to re remember we have some a problem areas, but we can pray against them. Because, and remember, God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.